The Aussie Report. News and information concerning corruption across Australia. G'day folks, it's Matt Aussie here and welcome to The Aussie Report. In this episode we're just going to take a look at the common law movement that's uh, currently going ahead. I know a few people that are, you know, a little interested and so I thought I'd just share more uh, using the format that um, I'm currently using which is videos here. Um, So yeah, we'll start off with the website and there's a little video in there as well to play and I'll, I'll read out, you know, some of the descriptions and yeah, just give you a little bit of information of, uh, you know, what they're up to and what their goals are. So this is the front page of the website, commonlaw.earth. You can have a look for yourself if you like. And it starts off saying, what is common law and how can it work for you? Put simply, common law or the law of the land has been used to govern and keep the peace in communities ever since mankind gathered for their mutual protection. It is the body of law decided on by a community to govern themselves to ensure all people can gain a remedy for any wrong done against them. And so they have a mission statement here on the uh, the right hand side, which says, We, the people of the Commonwealth of Australia, are peacefully and actively initiating lawful remedy for any harm to any man, woman or child as a result of the constitutional crisis currently afflicting our once healthy, once wealthy, once proud nation. We are working to convene common law assemblies around the nation and then to convene Congress to decide on the political future of our nation, to elect true representatives of the people, to end the foreign occupation and to assert the sovereign will of the people over Parliament as servants of the people. We are united in our, in our desire to fundamentally change our nation to create a better future for all. And so we'll take a look at this video now. Um, this is an introduction to you know what they do as well. Um, it should help answer, answer a few questions for you guys too. Common law assemblies are springing up all over Australia. What are they and how do they work? Common law is as old as the earliest civilizations. It has always been the basis of all laws that a society and or community agree to be governed under. On January 1, 1901, the Supreme Common Law of the Land, the Commonwealth of Australia Constitution Act became law, uniting the six British colonies into an indissoluble federation of six states led by a federal government. However, because the political parties have massively betrayed us they have gradually been destroying our rights and freedoms while imposing ever more draconian control over we, the people of the Commonwealth of Australia. But, people are waking up as they see the terrible results of allowing these political liars, thieves, criminals and traitors to take away our rights, common law assemblies are starting to create a new society growing up within the shell of the old. People are uniting in common law assemblies to create local governments, courts and management systems that replace the existing corporate political party structures. The assemblies are lawful legislative bodies where all people can introduce, debate and enact laws for their own communities. These laws are then enforced by common law courts and sheriffs selected by and answerable to the people. This process of returning power to the people will span years but it begins today when 12 or more men and women sign a charter to establish and maintain a common law assembly. Question. What are the positions and responsibilities in a common law assembly? The local common law assembly is the foundation that is returning us to our supreme law of the land, the Commonwealth of Australia Constitution Act 1901, and our means of direct democracy. We need a strong and reliable leadership corps to keep the assembly going. Everyone must be trained to take responsibility and hold these positions so that no one person or faction runs the assembly. Positions that need to be filled for the assembly to function are defined in the assembly constitution. The assembly constitution defines the organization structure and laws that govern the assembly's work. The people filling the assembly positions will be elected for a set period of time. 1. The assembly convener a. Creates an agenda for each assembly meeting and chairs it. b. Arranges a co-convener to chair meetings in case of illness or absence. 2. Secretary. a. Keeps the minutes of assembly meetings. b. Maintains a membership and contact list. c. Corresponds with other assemblies. 3. Sheriff. 
a provides security at all meetings and public events and eventually for our local common law courts and tribunals b delivers summonses orders and other assembly documents c recruits and trains deputies d organizes an urgent response network to protect our members e recruits and trains a local citizens defense militia Four. Education Committee Coordinator. A. Plans and organizes, with other volunteers, all educational work within the assembly, like holding classes on common law, and outside the assembly, like preparing leaflets, press releases and public information material. B. Organizes the education and training of new members. C. Does background research on different topics and prepares materials for the assembly. 5. Action Committee Coordinator. A. Plans and organizes, with other volunteers, all public actions and events, like protests, picnics, and rallies. B. Plans direct action in conjunction with the sheriff and deputies. 6. Judicial and legal coordinator. A. Plans and organizes the common law court and public tribunals, and their cases and procedures. B. Assembles and trains court personnel, including the adjudicator, registrar, jury members, prosecutor, court recorder, and sheriffs. C. Works with the education coordinator to provide educational material on the court and the law to assembly members. D. Establishes liaison with the Supreme Common Law Court of the Commonwealth of Australia. Note, the common law courts and tribunals are established by the assembly in each community as a whole and administered by this coordinator, who like all steering committee officers, is accountable to and recallable by the assembly. Okay, so let's continue on uh, looking at what these guys have got to offer here. And uh, so they go on to say, how do you stand in common law? The first step is to register your live birth. And they have a link to do that with. Uh, we will check that out then, since uh, that's the first step uh, involved, if anybody wants to go forward. Um, they then go on to say, living in common law is a state of mind. You cannot change your status by begging the corporate system to release you or by registering pieces of paper proclaiming you are reclaiming your rights. You are born with inalienable rights. You lose them when you agree to let others determine your rights for you. When you refuse to allow anyone to override your rights, only then will you be living free. You can only live in the common law when you refuse to acknowledge admiralty law and the assumed authority the political parties have imposed. And uh, what I've seen a couple of times on their website is educate, facilitate and activate. So it may be like a little slogan of theirs or something, I'm not sure. Um, but uh, just under this top row, they say under educate, we provide educational material, videos and courses to help people learn and comprehend how common laws work. Under Facilitate, we provide the tools you need to help you start common law assemblies, download documents and record membership. And under, under Activate, we provide assembly meetings to empower people to regain their rights and to take responsibility for their lives. Uh, they then have a, a future set of, of you know, instructions for these as well but um, what's interesting is their five-step plan to restore our nation uh, let me read this out for you and then we'll go and have a look at that birth certificate once we have elected a true commonwealth of australia parliament of the people by the people for the people we will propose a series of carefully considered referendums to vote on these steps Number one is amend the constitution S.128 to give all voters the right to binding citizens initiated referendums, as is our right. Two, create a secure online voting system based on the blockchain so that voters can vote anywhere, anytime, giving us more flexible and stronger democracy. Three, Reform the electoral system through a series of carefully considered constitutional referendum to reduce the size of electorates. Create new regional governments instead of the state governments, thereby making representatives directly accountable to the voters. This will slim down the number of representatives as well, eliminate big bang elections, and allow us to decide on important questions 
affecting the nation of our communities, immediately a decision is required. 4. Reform the taxation system to bring in a single corporate bank transaction tax. Imagine no GST, payroll, business, income and all the other taxes. Just a single tax only on companies. At the same time, we will reform our banking and financial system to benefit we the people, not the faceless international banksters currently destroying our nation with their puppets, the political parties. 5. Implement service to the nation. If our country gives us so much, it's only fair that we give something back. Those eligible to serve will be able to volunteer to choose civil or military service. All equipment supplied to these services must be manufactured in Australia within a time limit determined by the availability of trained people and materials. Imagine what that will do to grow our economy. And so that's the end of the, uh, the website, uh, the, the homepage I should say. Um, and they just have uh, Zoom meetings down there. So let's take a look at uh, recording your live birth. So, record your live birth. Why should you record a live birth with the common law? Currently, the only existing record to certify you is a legal fiction which the state has attached to you in the form of a negotiable instrument they trade internationally. This means that you fall under their rules. By recording your live birth with the common law court, you now have an option. You can remain under their statutory system and rules or stand under the authority and jurisdiction of common law. There is no charge for the recording of any information here. After filling in the form below, you will receive a confirmation email and a certified PDF certificate that you can print out any time. So this is all free so far. You know, they're not charging for this. This is uh, you know, for the people, by the people and uh, there is donation links though um, i'm sure that uh, a lot of this process would require um, money to to put in place as well um, and so they have a lot of uh, q a here if you guys are interested in uh, learning more about it um, they discuss the you know the all caps uh, birth certificate i guess and stuff like that so um, check some of that out i'm not going to read all this out for you they, uh, here we have the form to fill in to register your live birth. And um, yeah, that's it. There's an example of your live birth certificate. So, yeah, so just, um, just taking a look, not recommending. Um, just uh, for those that, you know, are more curious about what's going on with this movement um, and, and want to know more and want answers. So I hope this has just, you know, helped you with a tad bit. Any further is up to you to investigate. And uh, I always recommend investigating both sides. Uh, do have a look at the opposing theories to what's going on here and uh, make up your own mind uh, what you think is the best path for you in life. So yeah, like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll catch you all on the next video. Try to play it, but you're never gonna beat me Look the other way, what I'm doing ain't easy Bloody hands stained from the people who deceive me Muddy hands break through the chains, go free me